Alright, welcome back everyone to another episode of Morocco! Oh, and now since we have officially united with the Ottomans, we are now officially doing our own little colonial adventures into the mighty uh, empires over here, which is quite honestly pretty awesome, I think. I, I think it's pretty awesome that we're doing a lot of this kind of stuff, and I'm glad that we're doing a lot of this kind of stuff, because it makes me kind of happy. But anyways, last episode I left you guys on, well, not really a cliffhanger, I just kind of didn't tell you guys if I was going to join this war or not. And, because these guys are a former ally, and, you know, we should have some respect for that. But, no. Go destroy. Oh. Barnacles. Where did I get that? Ugh. Yeah. I just don't really care about these guys enough for anything. And since they aren't really going to accept vassalization, you know what? Let's make them tinier so they would accept vassalization. And, honestly, I just don't really care about them. I'm going to be honest, I just don't really care. As much as I would love to say that all this stuff affects me, but, yeah. And apparently we lost that mission. Um, hopefully, oh yeah, conquer Batishalim. What's Batishalim? Batishalim, well, it must be on the border. Uh, oh, right there. Okay. Yes. Okay, so yeah, now we got free con conquest against Mamluks. I'll go to war with the Mamluks in a little bit, but... First, we have to make sure this war goes okay. So, yeah, I mean, I don't really care that much. It's just annoying, flat out annoying to lose that stability for a nation. Yeah. And right now, we are just kind of blockading and destroying everyone we can. Okay. Seems like we have 100% relationships with Sweden. Would you guys like in a militaristic access alliance thingy, Mababa? I mean, we don't necessarily hate each other. I, uh, seems like you guys don't want to improve relationships with me, which makes it very hard for us to actually get an alliance, I'm guessing. Yep! Not the same religious group, it has its own subjects. Hmm? Oh, wait, was I hovering over... Oh, I was hovering over uh, vassalization. Yes! Would you like to accept vassalization, Sweden? I think that'd be, you know, I think that'd be in your best interest to accept vassalization, but another, on a serious note, though, alliance. Would you guys like an alliance? Um, seems like no. So, we call diplomat. Well, that kind of stinks, because I'm kind of going to need some new allies here in a few, in a little bit. Because I already know that we're going to, uh, start running into very big difficulties with the fact that I'm a big power, and I'm like now basically filling the void of the Ottomans. So, yeah, we're gonna have some problems. <laughs> uh, we also gonna have some problems over here of these guys just keep fighting back. But they're at the point where I don't really have to consider them a threat, and now they're just kind of annoying me if they do try to fight back. So yeah, let's just deal with that. Uh, over here, we're just kind of watching. We're just kind of watching Kulikom get eaten by the uh, Persians. You know, maybe I could steal some land from over here. Who's the world leader again? Uh, uh, oh, Russia's in this. Wait, Persia, you have an alliance with Russia? No, you don't have an alliance with Russia. Then wait, how did Russia get dragged in? You're allied with Trebizoid. Trebizoid is allied with Moldavia, Poland, and Russia. Wait, then how did Russia get in on this? Its only ally is Trebuzoid. Yeah, Trebuzoid. So, did it guarantee the Persian life? Is that what happened? No, they didn't guarantee them, then... How did Russia join in? How did Russia get in on this? Oh my goodness, they have lots of over exceed expansion to almost everyone in Asia. And Sweden, apparently. Sweden's also on the hit list. Huh. Who, go figure. Poor Sweden. Doesn't even have to really do anything. Alright, let's just get some... Oh no, the siege of Marco Say is over. Okay, let's go see. They, have they built up any good manpower reserves I can go squish? No. The, the country's now falling apart because of reasons. While we... But while we're here, we have to uh, gain all this uh, incognito land. That way we don't have to... If we ever do come back into a war with them, we don't have to, like, not be able to see it. Probably the reason why I wanted to do this was to make sure I gained some incognito land. And I guess 
we could slightly expand outward a little bit. Because I don't want to entirely make these guys our, um... Uh, what's the word I'm trying to do to? Uh... Something? Something, something, or something. I, I, I don't know what the word is, but... Anyways... Let's see, is there anything we can do? Like... Nah. Okay. I'm just gonna wait for my militaristic leader to give me what to give me the land I might want. You know, maybe the AI will actually be nice and give me something. Probably not though. <laughs> I don't believe in the AI's severity to actually give me something to actually come true. There we go. So let's see, what did we have to give up? Okay, so basically Persia took all this land and now um Kelerikum is this really, really weird looking nation. Great. Okay. While we're on the subject, let's go build some more units. Do, do, do. There's three, so that's 30. And then, like, two more cannons. One, two. There we go. That should maximize, min maximize all of our regions. No, you get to stay right here. Min maximize all of our regions. Okay, never mind. This is actually taking nutrition. So go right here. And then we should be fine. And now back to our war. The war we're actually fighting for actual stuff to happen. Okay, seems like they're having insane amounts of rebel trouble, which is quite funny to me. Um, I don't know why. Apparently we have a loan coming due, which is good. We paid a loan. Can we repay the loan? Not yet. It's a big loan. Probably from when we went bankrupt that few months of trying to reintegrate the Ottomans. Yeah, that, that was a scary time for most people because I think the stock market crashed. It was like a black day for everyone because it's like... It, I, I don't even know how that would even work, to be honest. Like, a nation like mine buying out the Ottomans and a nation like them. I mean, it came... The way we even got the nation was convoluted in the sense that we just took it over because they had no heir or ruler, which was weird to me. It was like the first time I've ever seen that happen. I mean, the, the smallest ever chance I've ever seen of royal marriage happen... Well, the smallest chance I've ever seen of royal marriage happen like that, and it happened, which was weird. Okay, so... Ultimatum. You know, I don't think I will be going down any more of the. Uh, what I say? Reduce inflation cost. Do I get natural inflation? Yes. Yes, I do. Shoot. Okay. Lose. Pi I think we're in the lose piety right now part. But let's gain our new technology. Because I think. Are we still behind in terms of technology? I think we are. Yes, we are, but we're not too bad anymore like we're actually not too too bad like we're catching up to the point where I don't think it makes insane amounts of difference for us to be in behind so that's really good that's really good right there um let's see we're conquering all this land down here uh militaristic through trebuzoid seems like they finally mustered up an army kinda too late though because I'm going to crush them uh did you guys crush my vassals I'm gonna have to go crush you guys don't I it seems the Quebu same is over. Yeah, it seems it seems like the vassals are actually these rebels are actually causing us trouble now. Let's gain the university, so that means now I can get a different tech group. What do I want? Well hmm. I think what I'm going could I hmm. You know, economically it would be a really good thing to get this right here. Because it is, like, insanely powerful. But the problem is that I'm not making enough administration points to do this. And administration points are insanely important. But if I could get this, this would... Uh, think about it this way. My money is already great as it is. Well, taxation is okay right now. Wait, why is my only getting 45% of my taxes? That is not good. Okay. Now, now wait, why do I only get 45% of my taxes? I'm kind of... What? <laughs> But, I, I don't know, it, it, having two at the same time would probably not work out very well. Um, hmm. Col colonist. I'm not really that interested in the colonial game, and trust me, I'm not really that. Religiously, I'm not really that interested in it. I'm more interested in uniting our religion, but you can't actually do anything with that, because most of the people I'm going to be declaring war on a Sunni. Um, I don't know. I think I'm going to get back to you guys in a second about what I want to do, so see you guys in a second. Okay, I finally made a decision, and after looking at all my national modifiers, I realized I hadn't even finished naval ideas, and I haven't even finished administrative ideas, so I think it'd be stupid to start another administrative and diplomatic ideas 
time slot or group, whatever you want to call it. So I think I'm going to go with uh, militaristic ideas, and the one I want to go with specifically is um, of the this one right here. Why? Because I generally like, not the prestige or anything like that, um, but I generally like the yearly army tradition, because honestly, that is what my army generally needs. I'm going to be honest, like... Let's gain that right immediately because usually my, like, look at that. My army tradition usually goes down at a pretty rapid rate, which I could foresee in the future being an insanely big problem. By the way, we have enough to repay our debts, so let's do that. Repay our debts. So, yeah. I just, I think that's where we will go with because it's, it's, holy shoot, these are powerful rebels. What are these made of? These are not... These are not normal rebels. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna get out of this war while I still can. Just take as much as I want. Nope, you guys aren't gonna take... Give me as much as I want. Well, you know what? I'll take this. This. Why, wait, why don't you guys let me take that? Only two provinces. That's all you guys are gonna allow me to take. Gosh, you guys are evil. Okay. Transfer trade power. Eh. Well, you know what? This is good enough for me. I don't really need to take that much during the first war. There we go. Alright. Let's go right here. Go right here. Get into my land. And just watch as all these Bantu patriots just destroy his land. Oh, gosh. I don't think they're going to recover from this. I just have a strong feeling that they're not going to recover. And where are you guys going? Sophia. Well... The, the Bantu tried to revolt on me because that was a pretty stupid idea. Okay, they're just going to the cape. I thought they were going to might go all the way around, which would have been annoying. Not just annoying, but annoying. Difference. Oh my goodness, 15 Patriots just spawned. That is insane. That is not going to be a fun day for them to deal with. And also, my troops just got destroyed, which is not a fun day for me to deal with. Okay, let's get all you guys grouped up down here. And now that we got a free moment, let's just take a moment to relax and do a couple things, like start annexing one of our vassals. Yeah, start annexing this vassal. Okay, get the one that's improving relationships. Yeah, get that one out of there. And yeah, we're going to start annexing that vassal and... Hmm. You know, to start the war with, start the war with the Mamelukes, I kind of want to get... I think the best way to do it would probably be to get Ethiopia involved. So, it's kind of good that that colony just died, because I think the best way to do this is actually get that right there. Get some coin things done right here. Dang it. Mm. You know, it's a good thing we make a good amount of admi administration points each turn. Otherwise, I'd be really, really, like, angry or ticked off. But, look at all that. There is no, no, 5k cannot win against that. That is insanely high numbers. Mm hmm Now all these rebels have to do is just carefully keep building Oh Wow. They turned against them instantly. Okay, it seems like Moldavia is insulting me. What do you want, Moldavia? You're allied with Lithuania and Trebuzoid. I don't see why you guys hate me. You guys are threatened by me, which is good. I could probably use that. Let's see. Still Oh, it seems like somebody, seems like Castile dropped me from the arrival list. That's good. You realize that we aren't that important to the longevity of your nation's sovereignty. Even though I will eventually come back and conquer you for that. I'm not going to do it for a very long time. Let's see, how's the new world turning out again? English Mexico. That's how it's turning out. And Castilian Florida. That is a big Florida. I'm not even going to deny. That is a big, big Florida. But, yeah, okay. Let's go get our people onto ships. And I guess what? Oh my goodness, so many rebels. I'm going to go send these guys over here to go get this colony set up, which is going to take a long, long time. And we're basically going to try to... Oh, come on. Wait, what? Wait, there were two rebel groups fighting each other. Oh, that's kind of cool. Wait, why are you guys coming through my land? What did I do to you? Okay, if you're gonna come through my land, just be warned, I will destroy you later. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. I will destroy you later. That is the promise I give you guys. From here on out, when I find you guys, I'm going to destroy you. Uh, yeah. So, the rebels decide to cross my border. For no apparent reason than to just cross my border. Alright. We have some kind of heresy going on. Basically, do I want to get positive relationships? Sure, why not? Let's get let's get happy days between us and some of our, en our enemies. Let's gain a bigger fleet over here. Okay, and I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to go send an army to go destroy these guys down here. Oh, they lost. Good. I was about to say, I didn't, I didn't want to send my army all the way down there. That would have taken forever. But it seems like whatever happened, happened, and... The Kilwa is in pieces because of it. <laughs> I'm kind of sorry, guys. I'm kind of laughing at the whole entire situation. All right, you guys completely love us, but you guys are allied with the with everyone I hate. You're allied with Persia, the Mamelukes, and everyone. Let's see. Uh, yeah, you guys are way too armored for your own good. Seriously. And yes, a lot of you guys thinking, wait, James, why don't you just declare war on them? Well, it's kind of hard to. No. It better not be that one colony that's going to take me a while to establish good. I was about to say, that colony took me a long time to establish. I'm not losing it. This colony I could probably lose because I'm not really caring too much about it. Yeah, let's lose piety, gain money. I love that event. I just love it. Losing piety but gaining a lot of good stuff. Production efficiency would be nice. How much can we support right now? Actually, we can actually support a three right now. Uh, Missionary strength. Let's get the missionary strength guy. So I think there's a couple. I think there's actually a couple provinces we don't actually own. And let's go start proving next next colony right over here, and just keep annexing all of Morocco. I mean, all of all of Morocco, Madagascar. Okay, and let's see the any places that we can religiously convert right now. Uh, well, yeah, we can actually convert this right now, which is kind of cool. That's good. But for the rest of it, we have absolutely no way of converting any of these orthodox places. That's going to be a pain to not be able to convert. I'm going to be honest with you. That's going to be a total, total pain. Uh, let's see. Battle of Bosnia. What? I, I, was, I guess I wasn't paying attention to that. Okay, you guys go right here and just kind of rest. Now, I know this isn't exactly a great army to have, but we need to make sure, okay, quickly go over there, make sure that colony does not die, because it took me a long time to get there, good, okay, now that we have a colony right here, we just have to wait for it to, to be able to core it, and then we'll just go to war over here, and with Fungi, Ethiopia's at war with Fungi, hmm, Fungi, could you guys become my, uh, could I join your war, <laughs> uh, I mean, like, is there any way you guys could become my vassal? No. You guys are... T I'm too technologically advanced for you. Well, that kind of that kind of sounds snoobish a little bit. So it's like, I'm too technologically advanced for you. You s you simple-minded fools. I, just, I don't know. It just sounds kind of technologically evil, but eh. I don't know. Let's see. Okay, so it seems like I have, like, absolutely no one I can really improve, get, do stuff with, because everyone's just kind of hating me. So let's just start improving relationship with random people and see what happens. So I'm not really, I'm not really too rushed to do anything right now. I'm still, I'm still way ahead of, like, forming a gigantic African nation, so it's not, like, insanely important that I get it all done with. Uh, it will pass. Yeah, it will pass. Okay, that was my own Schwarzenegger impression, but it didn't quite work. Get to the chopper. Yeah, it doesn't quite work, but you know what? I try. I try to entertain. Alright, let's go down, keep keep building all of these constables because I like them. Yeah, that looks really nice. Like, ah, come on. You are jerks. But I can't really deal with you until until something major happens. And Adal, could you guys just become my vassal? What? Adal is a vassal under her jets. How did that happen? Oh. You know what? Hedges, that's kind of mean. Not even going to deny that's kind of mean, but. Okay. 
Anyways, though, if we were to Kumzi, is Kumzi some kind of different religion? Is that why it's revolting? Wait, wait, wait. Let me see. Oh my goodness, I never converted these guys. Ooh. Okay, well, go send one of my death stacks to go deal with it. So I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.